Hello, my name is Haley Katz, and I'm a senior majoring in biology. My interest in research started when I read my first book about viruses when I was four. As I got older, I wanted to know more about how our immune system defends against viruses. A year ago, I got the opportunity to be involved in immunology research here at FAU's College of Medicine on xenograft rejection. Organ shortage is a global issue caused by a gap between the number of patients in need of an organ transplant and the number of viable organs available. In the U.S., there are over 116,000 patients on the waiting list and only 26,034 transplants have been performed. In theory, the gap between organ supply and demand could be filled by acquiring the organs from other species. There are still many challenges that need to be faced before this theory could become reality. One of these challenges is the unclear nature of the recipient immune response to xenografts. In this project, we studied the individual and combinations of various immune cells' reactions to cells from other species using two different donor and recipient combinations. We co-cultured mouse dendritic cells with human immune cells and human dendritic cells with mouse immune cells. In our experiment, the dendritic cells represent donor cells and the immune cells are considered the recipient. We looked at the proliferation and cytokine production of the recipient cells. From these co-cultures, we noted two main observations. None of the mouse immune cells recognized the human dendritic cells except when CD4 T cell and B cell were combined, indicating that mouse CD4 T cell subsets could recognize human dendritic cells indirectly. In contrast, among the human immune cells, CD8 T cells alone responded to mouse dendritic cells, indicating that human CD8 T cell subsets could recognize mouse dendritic cells directly. Overall, our data suggests that there is a species-specific flexibility and direct T-cell recognition of xenografts.